What's up guys? How we doing? And welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're focusing on a Chiefs player, if you hadn't guessed, but it's not that guy. It's actually a mate of his on the opposite side of the ball. Similar stature, uh, similar work ethic, similar speed, not quite. But if we are going to talk about a 5'10 football player that plays as though he's 6'10", you can't go past a guy like Tyron Matthew, a.k.a. the Honey Badger. And believe it or not, there's a Honey Badger in the world of rugby too. His name is Nick Cummins. He is an Australian rugby player and he's nicknamed the Honey Badger. Uh, we will give him his props, we'll have a look at him, but this video is about Tyron Matthew. So guys, sit back, relax, get your beverage of choice. For me today, it's actually alcoholic. Just slightly. Because sometimes, guys, when you sit down in this chair, when you sit down in the hot seat, you turn the camera on and think, holy fuck, I've got 58 more videos to make. Sometimes the only way you can actually break the ice and get into it is to have a couple of drinks, I'm not going to lie. And today, my friends, is one of those days. Although I have to remind you to drink responsibly. If you are of age, if not, ask your parents. And this video just went down a real rabbit hole. So I'm going to bring us back out of that hole. I am going to get into the video. But first, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Major Key Physiques. What's up, guys? Thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, it's brought to you by none other than Major Key Physiques. And I'm wearing some right now. Major Key Physiques is a New Zealand based bodybuilding and fitness brand. They have a complete range covering men's, women's and accessories. Everything is sized from small to triple XL. International shipping is always available. The products have all been designed with both aesthetics and quality at the forefront. With over a thousand happy customers and shipping worldwide, there's no reason why you shouldn't check them out. Head down into the description box below, check out the link www.majorkeyphysics.com. Use code JACOB20 for 20% off and come and join the team. Thanks for listening and enjoy the video. Peace out. Right then guys, let's settle in. Bring up the Honey Badger Tyron Matthew, but first I want to show you the rugby equivalent of the Honey Badger. And here he is now. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure if the look on his face is that of a honey badger, but it is something. It is some sort of wild animal. Um, speaking of wild animals, Nick Cummins was actually a star of The Bachelor Australia. So this man has gone straight from the rugby field to the bachelorette field. And um, look, if nothing else, what an absolute legend. But this video is not about the rugby version of the Honey Badger. This video is about the American football virgin. Virgin? Version. Maybe I shouldn't have had that drink. Anyway, let's get into it. Oh, yeah! You see that? Tackle for loss! Thank you! <laughs> like I said, 5'10", playing like he's 6'10". to compete and he's you know going talking crazy and i'm just like oh i i, I love this shit. excuse my french but I, I love this like you know what i'm saying like it's this is what it's all about it's just you know buried in my mind can i talk about tyrant top 40 top 60 it's much the same in my opinion hey, matthew yeah no by all means yeah what you want to talk about matthew? he's just tough He's awesome. So awesome. When you think of defensive players and just like an attitude in the mold of Ray Lewis, ferocious, no fear. Take the honey badger out there being a maniac. The thing is, he's going to be taking on, he probably has his whole entire career, taking on players on the offensive side of the ball that are bigger in stature. Possibly in speed, possibly in power. So really, he's got no choice but to make up for it in the only way he knows how, and that is attitude. Just controlled chaos. Not the controlled chaos. I like that. Biggest. He's not the fastest. That sums it up pretty damn well. He's always had that dog in him. I'm the biggest dog in the yard. Come on, Come on with you? Oh, it's my house. Uh, that's, that's, that's my boy. He's the truth. I love his game because he's just so aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Confident. And even if you make a play on him, he ain't going to lose no comment. He's going to keep coming. A guy that I watch. Haven't seen Justin Simmons for a fair minute. That's surprising. Religiously, we actually, I'm going to go out on a whim here and say I've I've missed him. Again, a week out to get his feel and flow for the game. 
fellow safety. Great instincts with his hand-eye coordination. Most people don't get their hand up. Imagine the fear of that or Williams catches it. Every time this past season he was mic'd up, I was always tuned in. Everything you got, every play, every play, too. That's what we got to do. That's one of the guys I model myself to be like. He's the fire within the team, man, and, uh, and everybody rallies behind him. i tell you what, he's not, he's not, come to think, he hasn't been in the league that long. But the amount of respect he's got from these players would make you think otherwise. Let's check. Actually, I take that back. He is 29 years of age. I'm going to call him a veteran. Cardinals, Texans, Chiefs, Super Bowl. Three-time first-team All-Pro selection, two Pro Bowl selections, first of which was in 2015, and the second of which was last year. He made the 2010s NFL All-Decade team, which is extremely impressive. They list him officially at five foot eight and three quarters, which we'll call five foot nine. You're welcome. 4.5 second 40-yard dash, a 20-yard shuttle of 4.14, but a three-cone drill of under seven seconds, and that's moving. 34-inch vertical jump, nine foot nine on the broad jump. And uh, look, I've uh, I've seen this before. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. A four-rep effort on the bench press is quite possibly the least amount of reps ever performed at an NFL combine. And that's a record you don't really want to have. But as far as money is concerned, 2013, four-year, $3.05 million contract. 2016, a five-year, $62.5 million extension. 2018, he was released by the Cardinals after refusing to take a pay cut. And he was signed on a one-year contract with the Texans worth $7 million. 2019, he signed a three-year, $42 million contract with the Chiefs, and that is the contract that he is currently playing out. Without him, we don't have a Super Bowl, and we definitely wouldn't go back last year. We can't let up! Tell you what, after becoming a fan in the year of 2018, you can't really blame me for not knowing too much about what's happened to the league prior to that, but I'm getting it. Slowly but surely, I'm getting it. Man, trust the thermometer! Right now, let's do it! He's the one that does it all for their defense. I got the back! Lock it, lock it. Woo, woo. The Swiss Army knife, you don't know where he's going to line up. One time, he could be lined up at corner. He could be in the box as a linebacker. He could be that single high safety. Next time, he's on the line of scrimmage. He can play a lot of different positions. He's a guy that you want to know um, where he at, he's at on the field. Get the badge and lock him. Make sure we get that one blocked. He can do a lot of different things based on his versatility. He is going to do a little grab and pull move on Darren Fells. Love watching this dude play. That's immense, bro. And one thing I did enjoy is that the coaches on the opposite team still call him Badger, right? Honey Badger. And if you're an NFL player, if you've got a nickname and opposite coaches are using that nickname, you're doing something right. Play, man. He's everywhere, man. He's everywhere. Actually, I don't mind that haircut. Trav? I don't mind that at all. That must have been early in the season. In fact, yeah, that, that, that does make a bit of sense. He's gone from having a goatee, a fresh fade and some luscious locks to having to having a full-faced beard and a haircut similar to mine. He's everywhere. The guy's just always around the ball, man. You have to be a very intelligent player to always... Every time I see that hat, I always think it's the Florida Gators. And if you agree with me, let me know in the comment section below. Let's be around the ball. He's got a knack for understanding what offensive coordinators are trying to do. And then on top of that, he understands the individual guys and, and all of their strengths of how to play defense on them. And he's got the pace to finish plays off like this. That was Jarvis Landry who got intercepted. I made it seem like I was about to leave. He ain't seen me. That's not just instincts. That's watching tape, knowing what the quarterback tendencies are, because he could have just stayed on that guy, but he knew he wasn't getting the ball. Damn. I ain't even seen him. I didn't need him. Yeah. Well, on that play, the last time that Landry saw Matthew, he was tied up with the tight end. So, so you'd forgive him for thinking there is no risk of interception. I got eight more to go to Kansas Reed. Reed got nine. 
I got a lot of work to do, fellas. Did you get to watch? What's that? Nine interceptions or nine pick sixes? I'm thinking he's talking about pick sixes. Ed Reed. How many pick sixes did he get? Here we go. Most career interception return touchdowns, a.k.a. most pick sixes. Actually, no, that's for a franchise. Yeah, uh, so Ed Reed has seven career interception return touchdowns, a.k.a. seven pick sixes. But let's just make sure he was talking about that. I didn't either, yeah, obviously. One of the best. Well, I got eight more to go to catch Ed Reed. Ed Reed got nine. Or are we talking about interceptions in a season? We might be. I think we are. Yes, we are. Ed Reed has, on multiple occasions actually, twice, once in 2004 and once in 2008, recorded nine interceptions for a season. But not only that, in 2004 he took one to the house for 106 yards, and in 2008 he did one better and took one to the house for 107 yards which is an NFL record. And as we look back to Tyron Matthews' year, he had six interceptions. I'm assuming that little clip that we heard was early in the season after he recorded his first. Made it to six, but didn't quite reach the record of nine. Close though. And the great thing about the NFL and about any sporting league, if you're still in your prime, if you still are under contract, is that you can try again next year. And I can guarantee that that is what Tyron's going to do. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. That's another video done. Um, bit of a lengthy one. Probably about 15, 16 minutes. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to create content. And that's what we're doing. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.